Hello and welcome to the first Kid Basher tutorial. This is going to be a quick tutorial on just how to get yourself started, how to get the Kit Basher installed, and how to make it so that you can get started creating your kits and importing your teams later that are covered in further tutorials down the line. What we're going to start with is I'm going to just show you what you need to have downloaded and where to get them first. So if we pop over to our um, uh, our downloads folder you can see that we are looking for the kitbasher.msi and the allkits.zip you can find them on the discord link below um, if you want to find the latest release you go to the releases channel uh, kitbasher.msi that's what the first one you want to download and then you go to the kit packs um, channel and you find the all zips download here now this is quite a large download so I recommend downloading this first and making sure that you can get the, all the kits ready. Uh, at current count, it is about two gigabytes of download. You won't need to download this again if there is an update to the kit basher, and you can install individual kit packs going on further down the line, so you won't have to download all the kits again. So once we have all our downloads, all you need to do is, uh, you do not need to unzip the all kits. All you need to do is double click the kit basher MSI to bring up a setup wizard and what you'll want to do is you click next accept the terms and agreement don't worry there's nothing in here that isn't it's definitely a boilerplate click next now what you're going to want to do is change this uh, destination folder what i recommend doing is putting it on a different storage and perhaps in its own folder such as kit basher i'm going to put it in two because i already have a kit basher folder and then click OK. So you can see here that this is on a different drive and a different folder. And um, this just helps with the permissions issues. Uh, it's just recommended put, uh, putting it in the program files folder should be fine. Uh, you can then choose whether or not to create a shortcut on the desktop and a shortcut in the program menu. Completely optional either way. So once you click next, it will install. It will ask you to um, uh, allow publisher uh, changes from a different publisher. Click yes and it'll install it. You can see here that there's a desktop um, uh, icon being added and you can launch Kit Bash directly from the setup wizard. Now this, is, when you first run it, you will actually get this little pop-up. It's very easy, just click yes. And then what we want to do is we want to navigate to our downloads folder and find the allkits.zip. Just click open, no, um, no unzipping necessarily yourself. It will do it all for you and put it in the correct locations for you. Now, while that's going on, um, you can uh, kind of leave that running in the background. And one of the things you might want to do is change where your um, generated kits are placed. Um, by default, it will send it to the program, uh, to your pictures folder, but you might want to put it in a separate location. So you can go to settings, set output folder, and in here you can select the folder that you want to uh, use. Once you've done that, the kits pack should be fully imported. So just click OK, and that's all you set up. You can then follow the uh, further instructions in the next tutorial about how to import your teams. That's everything for today, just for getting you set up. Uh, please do leave any comments, questions, or queries in the comments below, or join our Discord and get help and uh, support there um, for your kit basher journey thanks for coming and uh, do please follow into the next tutorial if you want help importing a team